Hello, welcome to our radio channel. I am attorney Wang Mangcai at New Women Law Group. Today, together with me is my co-worker, Dr. Yuan Yuan Zhang. And today, we are going to talk about how to prepare research statement for your green card application, especially in the EB1 NIW category. So, Dr. Zhang received her PhD degree in biology from the University of Minnesota and uh, completed postdoc research at the NIH, National Institutes of Health. And uh, she received her own green card through the EB1A, Alien of Extraordinary Ability category. Um, so we have helped thousands of uh, researchers, professionals received their EB1 and NIW approvals for their green card. And uh, many researchers have questions for us, like uh, why do I need a research statement? And how do I prepare a good research statement? What kind of help the law firm can provide to me in preparing the research statement? And so on, there are some other commonly asked questions. So today, Dr. Zhang and I will address those frequently asked questions. So let's see. Uh, the first question is, uh, what should I include in the research statement? Yeah, the research statement is the primary supporting materials for the lawyer and the supportive team to understand your research. So we would suggest you include your educational background, your work experience, um, your previous publications and citation records, and your previous research achievements, and maybe some other additional materials that helps to establish your qualification for this application. Okay, thank you. So that's a pretty comprehensive list. You mentioned several different parts. Then what do you think, uh, let's say, uh, is the most critical part in the research statement that I should emphasize? Um, I would say the description of your major research project is the most important part, and that is also the part you should put the most time and efforts to work on it. Um, so the idea is that you want to use the layman's word to introduce your major research achievements for other people to understand, um, including the lawyer and the supportive team, as well as the immigration officers. So we would suggest to um, select the most important and most um, impactful research projects to discuss in your research statement. Okay, thank you. So that addresses the what to include uh, well, question, and uh, previously we addressed the why the research statement question. And now the next question is how? Well, how do I prepare a research statement with good quality that can help me to achieve the smooth approval of my EB1 or NIW application. So I would say the most important thing to keep in mind is focus, because most applicants for EB1 and NIW, they have years of research experience in a particular area. So when they try to formulate the research statement, sometimes they try to include all the aspects of their research. That is not necessary and not helpful. We would suggest to select and focus on the most important work you have been doing. And um, you need to introduce why you do this research, what you did, and why it's important for your particular field. So um, we usually suggest our clients to select three to four important projects, and that gives enough information for the immigration officer to understand your research achievements. Okay. Thank you. That's pretty helpful. And now, uh, let me move to a more specific question. So let's say if I'm a green card applicant, in my past several years of research career, well, I have successfully published some journal and conference papers. Well, I may be the first author for some of those publications, but then maybe more commonly uh, for more additional publications, well, I'm the co-author. I'm not the first author. I'm not and also not the uh, corresponding order. Then for these kind of publications, how do I make the best use of them? Um, we would suggest to include all, the, all your important research, no matter you serve as the first author, corresponding author, or just as an ordinary co-author. So uh, when we select projects, uh, it's more important whether the project is recognized, whether it's uh, having a widespread impact on your field. Um, instead of considering whether you are the first author or the corresponding author. So the short answer is that um, whether you are a first author is not the foremost question we consider. 
when we try to select the most important research projects. Okay, thank you for the explanation. And now, the next question, actually the last question. Well, uh, previously the discussion is about how I, as an applicant, uh, should prepare the research statement and uh, how, to, how do I prepare one with good quality. And now, uh, how about the law form? What kind of help can I expect from the law form? Specifically, well, I have heard that New Wei Ming Law Group uh, consists of uh, multiple uh, professionals with good experience, including personal experience in receiving EB1 NIW green cards, and also uh, with PhD degree in science, in STEM majors, and postdoc research experience. So that's quite impressive. But then specifically, what kind of help can I expect to receive from New Wei Ming Law Group in preparing my research statement? So after you sign the contract with us, before you started to prepare the research statement, we will have a brief discussion with you about your background and your research. So sometimes the applicant change their major, sometimes what they learn at school is different from what they are doing at work. So in these cases, we will analyze your uh, background and provide specific suggestions for you to write a good research statement. And after we started the process um, of preparing your materials, we will provide you a sample research statement that is formulated based on thousands of applications we prepared and their specific feedback from the USCIS. So following this sample research statement, you will have a very detailed instruction on how to write a research statement. It's a good, a good point to start. Um, after you have finished your own draft or research statement, we will also read your document and provide specific uh, and professional feedback and try to help you focus on the important things and drop not the important uh, details so that uh, your going through the process is not going to be very difficult to, for you to start. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Zhang, for your very informative and detailed explanation. So to our uh, viewers, uh, to our potential clients, well, if you need additional questions, you are welcome to send us an email and uh, uh, provide us the questions that you want to get the answer. And uh, this is our video discussion regarding how to prepare a good research statement for your green card needs. Thank you. Thank you.